So, you have probably heard of aquaponics, but have you ever seen an aquaponics setup with isopods? Well, I made a rather crude one from scraps of plastic trash. Come and have a look-see. Welcome to Peppers and Glowworms. Bucket from buying pond plants, bottle from isotonic drink I bought out of desperation at night at a train station, off with the label, cut the bottle open, making some holes for the roots. The plant I'm making the setup for is a chili pepper from my Cariolukia Screepa Strain Zero breeding line, specifically one of the three-leafed freaks from Generation F3 that got banished outside in 2022. It has so far not produced any fruits. After taking it inside in late 2023, I cut it down, washed away the soil, submerged the whole plant under soapy water for a few days to remove any aphids and such. Then I let it acclimate to having its roots permanently in just water. Let's cut the bottle to a suitable height. Almost done here. The bottle fits nicely into the circular opening in the middle of the lid of the bucket. Okay, now to shove the plant into that bottle, and then the whole construct goes onto the bucket. Some clay pebbles I have laying around as a substrate. I'm reusing that water, getting the clay wet. Now for the isopods, along with some copepods and snails. I took a small sample of water and old leaves from a little garden pond that was set up during my childhood. This happened late in November 2023 at 4am and barefoot. Don't ask why. I sorted out the isopods, almost certainly Azellus aquaticus, as well as some copepods and tiny snails, and kept them inside in order to acclimate. As eaters of old leaves and rather robust creatures, freshwater isopods seem like ideal inhabitants for an aquaponic setup even allowing to turn leaf litter into plant nutrients directly within the setup. According to older German aquaristic literature, they may even be beneficial for keeping fish eggs fungus-free. I'll look into that too, I guess. The isopods seem to do well and even started mating. I could verify that the isopods also feed on dried and then soaked chili pepper leaves, thereby allowing for direct recycling of capsicum biomass. Therefore, I am adding some more clipped and discarded pepper leaves to the setup, and then fill it up with aquarium water. Finally, I am stealing a little bit of air from my Medaka aquarium by setting up an air line on the side. A little hole for the tube has to be poked. In goes the tube. And on goes the bubble stone. Uh, I only had this giant one here. Hmm, needs to be a bit higher in the water column in order to actually make some bubbles. So, and that should work. Now just a little thingy to regulate the airflow more easily so that my secondary aquarium filter still gets enough. And since it's currently winter and there are not that much chili leaves around, I also add some dried old leaves from my white strawberries as isopod food and thereby chili fertilizer. Let's see how it works out. Almost one month later, the isopods are still fine and there seems to be new root growth. There is even 
a flower forming. Despite only getting natural light in winter conditions. In this regard, the aquaponic pepper has even surpassed its sibling that had earlier been planted in regular soil. To be continued.